Hello lovely people, welcome to my cake videos. After watching this video, don't forget to hit the like key. You can visit our Facebook page to check out the other items we have in store. Thank you very much. Hello guys, welcome to my cake videos. Um, today I'm going to demonstrate and show you how the temperature controller works. Yeah, you can call it a thermostat. Okay, so here we have the thermostat packaged nicely. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and then unwrap the thermostat. Okay, so that's nice packaging. And then we have the manual here. Okay. All right. I'm going to put this aside. We have uh, the temperature sensor right here. So this part senses the temperature. And we have the terminals here. Okay. And we have the device itself, the thermostat, the temperature controller. And uh, right at the back. we have the terminals so we have the terminals for the load for the power and for the sensor so you unscrew and then push your wires through these terminals okay before I show you how to connect the thermostats I'm going to draw the circuit diagram I want to use and now this device this temperature controller is very dynamic it's very flexible you can use it any how you want depending on um, what you want to use it for so um, for the sake of simplicity let's say I'm going to use it to control the temperature of my incubator yes so let's say I want to maintain a temperature range of um, 36 degrees Celsius to 8 degrees Celsius. Yes, um, so um, that's what I'm going to do now. So, assuming this is my temperature controller, so let's say thermostat. Okay, we have the we have uh, one, two, three. That's for the load. We have the load right here. So the load has, um, has three terminals. We have the normally opened position and we have the normally closed position. I'm going to explain that in a little bit. Okay, so that's for the load. Then we have the, the terminals for powering the thermostat itself so we have um, the two terminals right here it's um, a 220 volt AC can you see that it's a 220 volt AC device okay it's a 220 volt AC device so you can supply 220 volt AC to it and then uh, it can operate or um, control a temperature range of from negative 40 degrees to um, 120 degrees Celsius. Yes, and then um, you can co uh, control devices of up to 10 amps current. And then um, for devices that require load of um, 220 volts AC. Okay, so we have the load, the power, and the sensor terminals. This is a sensor, as I showed you. It has um, its terminals. So these terminals are going to go right here. Okay, so we have the sensor. Okay, so um, I told you earlier, this is a... 220 volts AC device. So let's say I have my 220 volts power supply. Supply. 
that um, 220 volts AC and then um, this is going to be my live terminal and my neutral yes so uh, let's forget about the the earthing part for now so um, I'm going to connect the life to one part of the power terminal and the other will go to uh, the other will go to my neutral okay then we have the load part now um, I want to be using a light bulb to heat up my incubator okay so here's my light bulb right here as you can see it's a 220 volt AC light bulb so it's okay if I connect it to my 220 volt output uh, thermostat okay so I'm going to go ahead and draw the light bulb right here the light bulb has uh, two terminals okay so assuming this is my life and neutral okay now this light bulb is going to require power to to work to light up so I'm going to connect a wire from the life and then this life part is going to go through the terminal 3 and then come out through terminal 2 before going into the light bulb and the neutral is going to go join this neutral to the main source okay now the question is why am I using terminals 3 and terminal 2 okay so I told you I want to maintain a temperature range of 36 to 38 degrees Celsius so I want my light bulb to be on and then when the temperature reaches the temperature around the eggs when that temperature reaches um, 38 degrees Celsius I want my light bulb to go off I want my light bulb to go off when the temperature is 38 degrees Celsius and when the temperature drops to 36 degrees Celsius I want my light bulb to come on again so I'm going to use the normally closed position so my light bulb is going to be on when it reaches the set temperature then the light bulb goes off yeah so when the set point is reached the thermostat is going to be triggered alright guys so right now we are going to connect uh, our thermostat and the lamps and all that so I have three cables here and then the two coming from the light bulb okay I have the thermostat and the so quickly right here we have the sensor so I'm going to connect the sensor uh, no negative no positive so whichever way you connect it's no problem so I'm going to I'm going to unscrew and then I'll fix the cables and then I'll tighten okay so that's it firm so our temperature probe our temperature sensor is connected so that's okay then I'm going to go ahead and connect uh, from the thermostat to the power source so I'm going to use these two cables they are both white so consider the one with the black tip to be our life and the other are neutral okay so um, we are having from our neutral to number five so number five right here this number four number five so number four is going to uh, life 
Number five is going to our neutral. So quickly. This is our neutral. Neutral is going to five. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. And then our life will go to four. That's four right there. Okay, nice. All right, so these are our life and neutral going to the main source right here. So this is our life. This is our neutral. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside. Then this cable coming from our life is going to number three. So going to connect from number three right here number three right here Then we are going to connect from number two to our life. So this is my light bulb. So this cable with the black right here is my life going to the light bulb. So that is going to go to two. I have to be careful so that I don't have uh, naked wires, naked wires touching. Let me redo. Uh, let me redo the three. Okay. So we've connected number two, number three. Okay, then we have the neutral coming from the light bulb to join the neutral from the light from, from the thermostat right here. So I'm going to do the joining right here. So I'm going to now join the life going to the power source. I'm going to join it to the one coming from number three. So this is coming from number three. I'm going to join number three and number four, as we see in the diagram. So I have them here. I'm going to twist them together. Okay. So the black showing they are going to the main source which is life okay then the next cables i'm going to join is the neutral coming from the bulb which is this one which is this one coming from the bulb neutral and then i'm going to join it to the one coming from number five okay so here we have number five, right here. So the one coming from number five is going to join the neutral from. 
okay and then they both go to neutral so guys these are our two main lines that are going to the main source remember the one on the black is our life and neutral so I'm going to put this off first and then oh okay guys um, let's not forget our lamp um, the bulb 220 volts AC so I'm going to fix it Okay, right there. So we are good to go. Yes. So um, life neutral. Remember, this our life. This is our neutral. And then for some safety, don't forget your cover. with your screw yes so there's no contact with the wires and then you get shocked all right so let me power and see if it works voila it works perfect so now the temperature you see right now is the temperature around the probe right now yes um, the temperature of the room in this case is 27.3 okay and then um, the next thing we have to do is to set the thermostat so that it functions and then gives gives us what we want so what we want now is to maintain a temperature of um, between 36 and 38 that is what we want right now so this probe is going to be around the X as you see here so it's going to read the temperature around our X because that is the temperature we want to control so this one is going to be around the X okay so um, right now let me take you through let me take you through some of the functions of this thermostat. Okay, so let me put this aside. Okay, so on the manual right here, uh, you can see some functions. You can see some functions. We have HC, CP, LE, and the rest. Yes, so HC, you use it to control, um, to select if you are using the heating function or the cooling function. The CP is the temperature difference um, of what you want to control, the temperature range. So over here, our CP is going to be 2, which is the temperature range, the difference. So 38 divided... 38 minus 36 is 2. So our CP is going to be 2. We have LA and the rest. Um, one good function, one good feature that this thermostat has is you can set a high alarm temperature and a low alarm temperature. You just need to enter um, the temperature at which you want the thermostat to give you an alarm telling you the temperature is too high. If 